So, hi guys. I was doing a live stream and because of my internet connection it kind of died and wasn't so fun for me to do or for others to watch. So, I'm back, but I'm here filming a video that will be uploaded to IGTV later tonight. Um, I wanted to film just like an update what I'm doing type of thing. Um, I'm just right now cleaning my tiny house some. There's not a lot of stuff in, in here, but again, it's way more than I thought I would have. I'm like, yeah, I have a tiny house. I haven't acquired very much stuff. And it's like, I have acquired a good amount of things. I have two small boxes, probably about this big by this big and that tall, um, filled with like books and the little bit of stuff from school that I had kept, um, my diploma, my certificate for forest therapy stuff and some journals, a couple letters, and that's about it. And now I have some more forest therapy stuff, I have more tech, I have some dishes and stuff, and then a couple things for travel and like towels and that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So I guess it's not so easy for me to clean and take you with me, but I will attempt to and to keep you updated um, on what I'm doing. I will attempt to do it at the same time. So recently I've been feeling like I really need to share the story of um, caretaking that I've been doing for a while now. Um, some of you know what's been happening. Most of you don't know really much of anything at all. Um, it hasn't, it's not that I don't want to share. It's more that my family doesn't want me to share. Um, I'm an open book. And I would love to be um, sharing that piece of my life. Um, for me, it's really difficult to think like I'm going to go through an experience and I'm not going to create something from it that could benefit other people. And that's kind of where I'm at, where I'm just like, I've been doing this for two years. People know the slightest bit about... Um, <clears throat> what's been happening, what I'm going through. They know like hardly anything. Um, and I just have, you know, a need to create something from this experience. And it's not about, um, you know, needing recognition or needing uh, more praise for what I have done in my life. It has nothing to do with that. I really feel like I could help people. I've been watching uh, a bunch of documentaries about uh, dementia and Alzheimer's, which is what he has to some degree, and um, more specifically over the last couple months, it's really been like, this has been on my mind and I've been watching things almost every day. I have throughout the two years, but it's gotten to a point where I'm just like, what am I supposed to be doing with this time? Because I've invested so much time into this, I need to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. And so, you know, at some point it'll reach, a, reach this place of either I continue doing what I'm doing and I share what's going on in my life or I stop because for me I can't continue doing something and not um, create something from it. I know I keep saying that and uh, 
it's just kind of part of my journey. I think it's really a part of a lot of our journeys. Um, I know how much of an influence you can have, a, a positive influence you can have on other people when you share authentically what you're going through. And this has been, for the last two years, the main thing that I've been um, doing in my life. And not being able to share that and to help other people in some way and to um, just build a real authentic community is really bothering me. And so hopefully I will be able to start sharing some soon. Um, and I will start from the beginning is the plan and to go through this, you know, 150 gigabytes of footage that I have of me processing moments of my grandfather in his good moments and in his bad moments. Um, yeah. So I'm excited for that. And then in addition to that, I'm also planning on uh, creating a documentary from this. So um, not only do I want to start sharing more authentically and more, um, you know, pieces of this journey on my YouTube and on um, Instagram here, I also want to be sharing um, it in a much bigger way through a documentary. And so, yeah. I, I'm in the process of planning. I've taken a couple documentary courses and um, I'm feeling really, really empowered lately to create more from this experience specifically. Um, yeah, so what else is going on? That was enough about that topic. I. Um, Sorry, it's dust and stuff here. Yes, even in a tiny house, you get a little dust. But guess what? To clean it is like half the time. So, um, so I started another Instagram account, which a good amount of people know about. But um, a, I created it because I wanted a platform where I could share things I find interesting relating to um oof <laughs> being vegan I can't kill spiders <laughs> and I have a hard time taking away spider webs because I'm like that's their home um wow that looks better so sorry I'm distracted I'm here um I created another Instagram account, account. It's all about, you know, cold therapy, red light therapy, getting enough sunlight. Um, a lot of things based around the work that Dr. Jack Cruz is doing. Um, what else? EMF and radiation. How to protect yourself from that. Um, yeah, and the, the importance of getting outside and being in nature. So I created that, and uh, for a while now I've been experimenting with cold showers, and so I've been taking like half warm, half cold showers. But I would like wash, wash my hair, take care of everything before I turned it to cold. Um, and so two days ago, I decided that I do a week of complete cold showers every day. Um, <laughs> It's been two days. Um, I had to wash my hair today, which I think worked out okay. But it's very difficult to want to get into cold water. Um, it was much easier and enjoyable to just get in warm, wash my hair, and then turn it to cold and stay in there for a couple minutes. But now I'm like going full on. Um, cold. But what I've realized is that it just like wakes you up in such a way and gives you so much more life force. I feel like just in general, I'm just like, 
after my showers, I'm like, okay, I'm ready for the day. I'm ready for whatever is thrown at me. I'm in a much happier mood. I'm uh, feeling more focused and productive. And, um, yeah, my days have panned out that way. <clears throat> I know when I was in Bali, I was, whenever I was feeling, like, not very focused, I would just jump in the shower and turn it on cold. And uh, I would feel so much better after about a minute, and I'd go doing, go back to doing whatever I was doing. So, um yeah, cold is a very powerful tool. Once you understand it, it will become less about, oh, I hate doing this, and more about, I know it's good for my health, and so that's why I'm doing it. Um, yeah, there's one other thing that I was thinking of talking about, and then we'll see what I ramble on to. But uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was, um, I'm a sports nut, which some of you guys know, some of you guys don't know, um, and so I've been following, in the U.S. here, we have something called March Madness, and it's this college basketball, men's college basketball tournament, where you bet on different teams, and, um, Basically, you enter different pools, and you can win money. And so, I entered, obviously, a bunch of pools. Obviously. <laughs> and I usually pick one bracket, and I stick with my one bracket throughout the whole um, tournament. Um, but this time, I did four different brackets. And I have won one of the brackets, which was... Um, a $20 bracket, so I had to put in 20 bucks. Um, I had to put in $20, and then, um, you know, the winner got $320, and so that was kind of fun. And then I'm in another bracket, which I haven't secured first or winning. I'm in first right now, but I could lose. But I could win two out of the four brackets that I entered. Um, and that's always exciting because I've never won one of these brackets. I've been a huge sport nut forever. Um, but yeah, it feels good to win. It feels really good to win. And watching the women's basketball last night, which, you know, it's hard to be a female and someone who used to play sports, someone who likes basketball, and be like, heavily judging the game but watching women's and watching men's basketball just isn't the same and maybe it's because I've been brainwashed or I have certain expectations as to how um, the the game should go <clears throat> but um, yeah it got me thinking, like, you know, after I'm done with my, oh, I'm not going to go to college stint, when I'm, like, 30 years old, I'll go back to college and I'll, uh, I'll play, you know, tennis or basketball or something and I'll just, um, I don't know. I was pretty good and I had a lot of potential and I don't want to toot my own horn. Um, but I do think I could very easily be at the level of Division I college basketball, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. That was my other exciting news, I guess, for you. And now as I'm, uh, thinking about this video, I think it's actually not going to go on or maybe it'll go on Instagram and YouTube because I am making this far too long and it's much more of an update and an interesting video than I anticipated making. 
So, it's gonna go on YouTube too, I think. Um, yeah. What else? So I have a video, it's gonna come out before this one. So you've already watched it if you're an avid subscriber, but most of you aren't, so most of you do not follow everything I do, which I understand. Um, but it's about EMF radiation and the dangers of your cell phones. And so it's just really important to understand the effects of these wireless devices as well as, you know, I see, I saw so many uh, different advertisements during the Final Four about the 5G evolution and how, you know, it's such a great thing for us to have, um, us to have 5G and, you know, at what cost to our health are we going to want um, to have this technology? And really, we don't need it, you know? Like, we don't need super fast speeds. We don't need um, a washing machine to be able to send a text message to your friend. We don't need um, a completely smart house. But, unfortunately, that's where we're headed. And so it's just really um, important to understand all of this and what you can do about it for your own health. Um, there we go. All right. That looks pretty good. I got my three pennies here for my little book, but I don't even have that with me. Um, yep. Ah, okay. What else? I don't know what else to tell you. That's probably about it, to be honest. Oh, no. Okay. This, this can go down. This can go over. I'm gonna try to fix the bed here. Let's see. This was, uh, I don't know if any of you have read the Ringing Cedar series. I've only read one book and I started the second and it's, um, it's my plan to read them again. Um, because it was such a cool book, I remember it being. And um, it was all about these ringing cedar trees in Siberia. And so I bought online this ringing cedar tree. It's a piece of a tree. I don't know how I can know that it definitely is it. Um, I know I went through an authentic site that someone else has, had gotten it through and said it was real. So anyway... I believe them, but I was supposed to be wearing this, but the thing fell off for it, so. Anyway, I gotta keep this little piece of wood, because it's important to me. Okay, make my bed. Hang on. Oh! Important papers, like my title to this trailer checkbooks way more than anyone should ever have. Here's this, 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 this. Okay, let's see. This can go down too, so I don't need that. And this, let's see. I think I will spend one more night in here before I'm officially at some point gonna sell this house and so definitely going to vlog that experience because it's cool it'll be sad but also exciting starting something new like that
know what I have under this bed is um oh my old um gosh sorry it's really hard to concentrate and to clean um I have past vision boards underneath the bed here that I have kept because why not they were important to me um, there we go Gosh, we're almost uh, all clean up here. Wow. And this can go down. Let's see. Okay. What else? What else is there to say? I don't know. That looks better. Say hi, but they didn't. Look at it. Looks pretty good, right? Okay. Now I will clean up some other stuff over here. Um, I probably should end this video. So, is there anything else I wanted to say? Um, For a while, I had wanted to create, you know, this nature connection program, which I still am in the process of creating. And I was leaning more towards wanting to create a lot of more programs and books and that kind of thing. And I, at one point, had talked about, you know, creating a, a membership type of thing. A community that you could join that there'd be a lot of of benefits and perks to being a part of um, and I'm leaning more towards that again but right now my my next endeavor which is going to be somewhat soon um, I had talked about creating a podcast a long time ago, and I had created a podcast, um, but I just kind of fell off the ba bandwagon, and it just kind of like didn't end up really working for me. And so now I am in the process of creating a podcast again, and um, I just really think that I connect better through audio than video um, and I think it'd be fun to be honest I think it'd be a really fun time and I'd be interviewing other people that I find um, interesting and have something worthwhile to share has a cool story experience whatever it is um, but that's the next endeavor I think and once that's consistent I will then produce this nature connection program which um, yeah I'm I'm just really excited for it because I think it's gonna benefit a lot of people and um, you know that's it's really all you want is once once you found peace within a certain aspect of your life or you've you've found 
pretty consistent um, clarity and purpose and you know feeling seen and heard and understood you just want to share that with other people because it really transforms your life and your ability to show up for other people help other people um, you know show up for your job whatever it is that you do so yeah I'm going to uh, end it now I will talk to you guys again soon I'm just gonna finish cleaning this little spot up and then for now this is how cleaned up it will be for when people come to visit it to potentially purchase the house so that's it I thank you guys for watching those who hung around you're awesome those who didn't you're awesome too um, I hope you have a super great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.